Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at the container services on AWS. Container is a software abstraction that packs up the application code, dependencies and environment, so that it can run on any operating systems and machines. Containers have similar concept of resource isolation and virtualization as VMs. However, containers are more lightweight, faster and more portable, and consume less compute resources and storage space than VMs. Containerized applications share the same operating system and run as independent processes that ensure fast, reliable, and consistent deployments regardless of environments. Containerized applications intend to let you build and test applications locally and deploy them in the cloud without any additional configurations. Containerization is commonly used in microservices. Microservice is an architectural style that breaks a monolithic application into a collection of loosely coupled and stateless services running in containers. Microservice enables development teams to make rapid software releases. Both containers and VMs have similar concept of resource isolation and virtualization. However, there are some key differences. Containers leverage the OS virtualization and turn a single operating system into multiple running environments. VMs leverage the hardware virtualization and turn a physical server into multiple virtual servers. A typical VM architecture contains a hypervisor running on top of a host OS. The host OS is installed directly on top of the physical infrastructure. The hypervisor is a virtualization layer that separates applications from the physical layer. On top of the hypervisor, you can create VMs with guest OS, such as Linux or Windows. Each VM acts like independent virtual hardware with a guest OS. You can deploy applications into these VMs and scale your applications as they are running on physical servers. VMs allow multiple OS and copies of your applications to run on a single hardware, which help you optimize physical resources and increase the scalability and availability of your applications. However, there are some disadvantages of VMs. Each VM contains a guest OS which needs more storage and compute resources. Each VM requires OS updates and patches. Backups and recovery and restarting VMs can be slow. Some OS and software charges per VM license fees. Running applications on VM can be less cost efficient. Applications in VMs may have a different runtime from the development environment, which can increase deployment efforts and cause inconsistency. Containers are much lighter and more cost efficient alternative to VMs. Containerized applications are usually running on top of a container engine, such as the Docker engine. The container engine is a virtualization layer that can run on any operating systems. You can deploy containerized applications on top of the container engine and run multiple containers on the same machine. Different containers can share the same underlying OS and hardware with other containers. Containers are much more lightweight and require less storage space and compute resources comparing to VMs. Container images are typically tens of megabytes in size. Each VM image includes a copy of an operating system and can take up tens of gigabytes in size. You can run more containerized applications with less compute resources. Containers improve the software development agility by standardizing application configurations so that you can reuse the same configuration across development, testing, and production environments. Many microservices and serverless frameworks leverage the containerized technology that allows you to rapidly develop and deploy portable applications into the cloud. Microservice is an architectural style for many containerized applications. It breaks a monolithic application into a collection of loosely coupled and stateless services running in containers. Although microservices can run in a non-containerized environment, containers have become the preferred option to run microservices. Microservices improve the agility of software development lifecycle and shortens the time to market. Each microservice is independent of each other. Developing and deploying new microservices is much easier than adding new features to a monolithic application. Smaller microservices also mean there are smaller application code and libraries to maintain. You can use different programming languages and libraries to develop microservices. Whereas maintaining libraries of a monolithic application is much harder. Updating code and packages for one feature might affect other parts of the application. Microservices give you better scalability comparing to the monolithic application. With microservices, you can scale only specific services instead of scaling the whole application. For example, suppose you're running an online shopping website with a large customer base. The checkout service might be much busier than the onboarding service. 
Microservices allow you to only scale out the checkout service when needed. Scaling microservices is much faster and requires fewer resources. Microservices are more fault tolerant than the monolithic application. Resources in microservices are isolated units. A single microservice error or container failure won't bring down the entire application. Recovering microservices is faster than recovering the monolithic application. However, there are some disadvantages of microservices. Because each microservice has an independent lifecycle. Each development team needs to be responsible for the entire lifecycle. Cross-team collaborations are required when you work on different microservices. As your microservices grow, the service network can become very complex. It's challenging to maintain a large microservices network. Performance is more likely affected by the network latency when communicating between microservices. It's also likely to have security issues for a large distributed network. You need to design your microservices for fault tolerance, load balancing, network latency, and security. AWS provides several options for you to run containerized applications. Amazon Elastic Container Service or ECS is a highly scalable, high-performance managed container orchestration service. ECS supports Docker containers and allows you to easily run and scale containerized applications on AWS. Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service or EKS is a managed container orchestration service for Kubernetes. Kubernetes is a popular open source system for automating deployments, scaling and management of containerized applications. EKS is ideal for teams that already use Kubernetes, so they can seamlessly move their on-premises Kubernetes to AWS. AWS Fargate is a serverless compute engine for containerized applications, which works with both Amazon ECS and EKS. With AWS Fargate, you don't need to provision and manage servers. Fargate automatically manages compute resources and scales them for you. You can also install Docker and manage containers directly on EC2 instances to gain more control over compute resources. However, you need to manage containers on your own, such as auto scaling of containers and integration with other AWS services. Whereas AWS managed container services handles all the configurations and integrations for you. Amazon Elastic Container Registry or ECR is a fully managed container registry. Similar to Docker Hub, ECR lets you host your container images in the cloud and deploy them to AWS container services. Here's how ECR works. ECR is the container registry that hosts your container images. An ECR registry is provided to each AWS account. An ECR registry may have multiple container image repositories. To use ECR, you start by creating a repository in your ECR registry and store container images in the repository. You can build your applications as container images and push them to the image repositories using the push command. These repositories host your images in a highly available and scalable architecture. To deploy containerized applications, you can pull these images from the image repositories and deploy them to the desired container services such as Amazon ECS, EKS, or AWS Fargate. You can also deploy containers to your EC2 instances or on-premise servers. Amazon Elastic Container Service or ECS is a highly scalable, high-performance managed container orchestration service. ECS supports Docker containers and lets you easily run and scale containerized applications and microservices on AWS. You can define containers in a task definition, which you use to run tasks individually or run them within a service. The task definition is a blueprint for your container application. It includes information such as which containers to use, what ports to be opened, and which data volumes to use. You can run your tasks or services on a serverless infrastructure managed by Fargate or on a cluster of EC2 instances. ECS enables you to launch and stop your container applications with simple API calls and retrieve the state of your cluster from a centralized place. You can use ECS to run and scale batch jobs, process data ETL workloads, or run microservices applications. Amazon EKS is a managed service that makes it easy to run Kubernetes on AWS. EKS lets you benefit from the open source container orchestration without needing to install, operate or maintain your own Kubernetes control plane or nodes. Kubernetes is a popular open source system for automating the deployment, scaling and management of containerized applications. EKS is a highly available Kubernetes service that runs control plane instances across multiple availability zones. EKS is reliable and fault tolerant as it can automatically detect and replace unhealthy instances in the control plane. 
EKS is a fully managed service that provides automated version upgrades and patching for the control plane instances. EKS is integrated with many AWS services, such as ECR, Elastic Load Balancing, AWS IAM, and AWS App Mesh, to provide scalability and security for your applications. EKS is compatible with native Kubernetes, so you can leverage all benefits of open source tools. You can easily migrate standard Kubernetes applications to EKS without refactoring your code. AWS Fargate is a serverless compute engine for containerized applications, which works with both Amazon ECS and EKS. With AWS Fargate, you don't need to provision and manage any server. Fargate automatically manages compute resources and scales them for you. When you define tasks in Fargate, you don't need to specify instance types, you only specify the CPU and memory for each task. Fargate removes operational overheads, such as scaling, patching, securing and managing servers. It ensures the underlying servers is always up to date. Each Fargate task has its own isolation boundary and doesn't share the underlying kernel, CPU, or memory with other tasks. With serverless container service, you no longer need to pay for idle resources. You only pay for the CPU and memory that your tasks use. There are many AWS services use containers as the underlying technology. AWS Lambda is a serverless compute service that allows you to use different programming languages, libraries, and runtime for your Lambda functions. Each Lambda function executes inside a container that is isolated from other Lambda functions. Amazon SageMaker is the AWS machine learning platform that provides pre-built Docker images for its proprietary algorithms. You can also pack scripts, algorithms, and inference code for your machine learning models into containers. The container includes the runtime, system tools, libraries, and other code required to train your algorithms or deploy your models. By using containers, you can train machine learning algorithms and deploy models quickly and reliably at any scale. AWS Batch allows you to easily run your batch jobs at scale. Batch uses ECS to execute containerized jobs and dynamically provisions the optimal compute resources based on the volume and requirements of the batch jobs. Amazon Lex is an AWS AI service which provides deep learning and NLP models to help you build lifelike conversational applications. AWS uses ECS as the underlying service to power Lex. Amazon.com also uses ECS to power its recommendation engines, which provide millions of users real-time recommendations, such as product suggestions based on users' buying patterns. In this episode, we've learned different container services on AWS. Container is a software abstraction that packs up application code, dependencies, and environment so that it can run on any operating systems and machines. AWS offers different options to run container applications. ECS is a highly scalable, high-performance managed container orchestration service. EKS is a managed container orchestration service for Kubernetes. Fargate is a serverless option for ECS and EKS. You can also install Docker and manage containers directly on EC2 instances. ECR is the container registry that allows you to host your images and deploy them on AWS. Okay, that's all for AWS container services. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning!